Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another colorful tutorial, this time for a necklace. I'm using this twirl design in a lot of my projects and now I decided it's time to make a bigger project like this colorful necklace. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell. In this way, you will know when I post new absolutely free tutorials like this. Check description for full list of materials, other useful resources. Also, a lot of work goes here in this video, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. More info on this in description. Thank you so much for watching. Share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page. And now without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 OC beads, black, white, pink and blue. You could use others of your choice. Here I'm using chains and a clasp and jump rings. You could use only clasp if you decide to make a beaded chain. Here I'm using monofilm and that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice, similar size. Down there in description I have a whole list of all the materials that you need, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following me. Also links to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. Okay, let's continue. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I used to attach my jump rings to my work. And now I'm going to take about 4 feet of thread on my needle which is about 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm going to start my work by picking up 12 of these black beads and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And then what I want to do is to make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay. Now I have this beautiful circle of beads guys. And I will go through some beads in this direction and pull a little bit. I'm taking one black bead and as I'm exiting from this black bead here, you see this one, I'm going back in circle through it and adding this bead here. Then I want to go in the next black bead of my inner circle. Okay, I'm exiting here from the next black bead. Take just one black. I go back in circle through this bead and I also go through the following just to save time. And I pull. And you see here guys, I have something like a loop between this newly added bead and this bead here in the center. This is what I'll be doing until the end of this row. Take a seed bead, go back in circle through the one that I'm exiting out of and go through the following and pull. And again one, go back through this one and go through the following. Okay? Now I'm going to continue this and when I'm ready I'll meet you here at the last one. It's absolutely the same thing. And I'm here guys where I need to add the last black bean, the 12th one. Okay, and as I'm exiting now here in this inner circle, I want to go back through this black one. You see? And in this way I'm going in the outer circle. Now, what I do is that I flip because I prefer to work in this direction. If you prefer in the other direction, it's okay. So now you see I'm exiting out of this black bead here, this one. 
and I'm going to take one white bead and I'm going in the next black one. After that I take a pink one and I also go in the next black one. I take a blue one, go here in the next black, a white, a pink, and a blue one. And I'm going to continue this white, pink, blue two more times and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and here I'm filling the last gap with a blue one, absolutely the same way. You could always rewind if you forget the steps. Now I'm going in this white one here. And I'm going to take three white beads. And as I'm exiting from this white, I'm going back in circle through it. Okay, and I have this beautiful cross of four beads, also called right angle weave, and I pull. Then I go through the black and through the pink one. three pink beads and I go backwards through the pink also through the following black and blue you see again a loop of beads here three blue beads go back in circle through this one and just to save time through the black and through the following color which is white okay I think you got the idea guys white pink blue add three beads back in circle making these crosses and meet me here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row these are blue beads okay then I'm going here in the center through this black one okay like this then I'm going in this white bead and here at this bead that is sticking out the most from the white color I need three beads of my next color which is pink and as I'm exiting from the white I go here in the pink bead here in this row I'm gonna be adding my next color okay uh, then I take blue which is my next color white go here pink go here blue next color go here and I will continue this until the end white pink blue white pink blue white and I'll meet you here okay guys and I'm here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and now your work will bend a little bit but don't worry it will straighten up later okay now what I want to do is to go through two beads of this pink color now I'm exiting out of the second pink bead and I'm going to take this time four beads of the next color which is blue and again I go through the second one here you see what I have then I'm going to take again 
Then I take four white beads. White is my next color. And I go here in the second one. Just like this. Now in my previous row I was going through one and taking three and going in the next color. Now I'm going through the second one taking four and going again in the second and four again. So it's one more than the previous row. The previous row was one three and now it's two four. Okay, and I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. I'm taking four. I'm going through the second bead. And you will continue by yourself until the end. Two, four, two, four, and the next color. And I'll meet you here. If you forget how I'm doing something, just rewind the video and check it out. And meet me. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step. I'm exiting again of the second bead and I'm adding four and I'm going in the second one. And with this my row is ready guys. Now what I want to do in my next step is to make one absolutely the same element and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing with both of those elements. I will, uh, for now, I will put one of those aside and I'll show you what I'm doing with the other one. Okay, now what I want to do next is go through two of those four blue beads that I added in my previous row. Take just one blue bead and go here through the next two blue beads. Okay, and I'm making an angle. Then I'm not going through this bead at the angle here, this blue bead, but I'm directly going through these two white beads. This is a trick to straighten up my work. And I pull, I take just one white bead and I go here through the next two whites. Okay, and I pull and you see these beautiful angles here that are formed. Then I skip the next one and go through the following two. Okay, take a pink one, go through these two pinks skip the angle and go through the next two blue beads and this is it guys this is what i'm doing until the end and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last bead from this row go like this and i take five black beads and as i'm exiting here one pin bead away from the center i'm going in the same place but here where the blue beads are and i'm going one bead away again from the center okay then i go again here through the pink one And I want to reinforce this join, guys. This is where later I'm going to attach my jump ring and finish my necklace. Okay. And when I reinforce it, I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, where should I do this? I go in this direction through some beads, let's say at the angle. And here I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And then I will go through the next bead here 
if it's too tight use your pliers and pull and then cut your thread okay now one of the elements of my necklace is ready but do you remember that i did another element like this just before adding these angles here and we are gonna use this in the next step and now we take the next element which is the same like the previous one but we still haven't added these angle beads and now we will continue and expand this work more because this will be the second element of my work okay so now i'm exiting out of this pink bead i just added these four pink beads here and now in my next step i will expand my work by going through three beads this time and adding five of my next color and then again i'm going through the third bead of my next color so the full the formula continues first it was one three then it was two four and now it is three five i'm exiting out of the third one and i'm adding five of my next color then i'm going in the third one one two three and add five okay then again i have five and i go here through the third one five again and go here through the third one okay guys and i'm going to continue this and meet you here okay guys and i have my last five beads here and again i'm going through the third one and now i have this then in my next step guys i want to make absolutely the same element like this one you see they are identical so what we did up to here repeat it one more time i'm doing this because i make a gradation of elements to make my necklace and i need the previous stage to upgrade to the next one but i don't want to repeat the whole process and bore you with that that is why i'm making one and i tell you to repeat all of this until up to here okay so now what i'm going to do in this step i'm going through two blue beads take just one blue go through the next three and form an angle then don't go here in the angle but directly in the pink beads okay this is a streak again to straighten up your work okay go like this take just one pink and go through all of those beads here in this direction then don't go through the angle but go through the next two white beads take a white again and go through these three beads and continue absolutely the same way until the end adding one here everywhere and i'll meet you okay guys and what i do now is that i make finish this element like this and you see now i have the first two elements of my necklace that i'm going to be connecting later okay i have them then i will take this one which will be the central element i will put those aside for now and this element guys is absolutely the same as this one but without the edge so uh, here i use the formula three five okay and here i am exiting out of the third white here on my way now i will continue my work and i think you could guess what the next step would be go through four one two three four 
and then add six of the next color. These are six of the next color. And again, one, two, three, four. Go through the fourth one, and in this way, guys, you could expand your work as much as you want to. So now I'm exiting out of the fourth, and what I take, I take six of the next color, and where I go, through the fourth one. So the next step, if you want to expand this work even more, will be five, seven. Okay, again I have six here and I go to one, two, three, four. I take six and I go here one, two, three, four through the fourth one. Okay, and I'm going to continue this and meet you here, guys. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last six beads from this row and where I add them in the fourth blue bead. Okay, if you want, as I said, you could expand your work more. Now, what I want to do is that I'm going to make the central, the, the angles here. Okay, I take one. I went here through three beads and I go again through three and I have this. Then I go through the next three white beads. I don't go through the angle but directly through them. Take one, go through the next three. Go through three blue beads, one, and go through the next three. Okay, and I'm going to continue this and meet you here at the end. And here I am, guys, at my last step, where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And now I won't cut this tail thread here. Okay, and now I will show you uh, what I do. Okay, this will be the central piece of my necklace. Okay, and do you remember those two elements that we did? Okay, this here. Okay, and this one here. And now I'm going to make two of those absolutely the same elements and I'm going to come like this and then I'm going to come like this you see and in this way I'm going to connect my necklace okay guys and from now what I want to do is connect this necklace okay I'll put aside those beads for a while and I will take these two beads. In this one I just added this white bead here and I still have my thread on and I put back my needle on. And what I'm going to do next is go through this blue bead here, these two blue beads and exit at the top blue bead. Okay. And I want to connect it like this. In order to do this, I take one black bead and I go through this white here. Okay. Then I'm going to take one more black bead and I go here in this bead that is sticking out the most at the angle. And I pull. Then I want to reinforce this joint here.
in my next step guys I'm going through some beads in this direction and I'm aiming for the next angle then I take just one black bead go through it take one more go like this and I make a loop between the angles with black beads and I'm going to reinforce this joint here okay now I have the first two elements of my necklace attached now I will take this central element and I'm going to attach it let's say this way in order to do this I will go with my thread through all of those beads here exit from this side and attach it here then I will continue the same way with these elements and when I attach all of them I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I just connected all of those elements absolutely the same way that I showed you all of them and I must tell you if your work bends at some point uh, you should put a cotton cloth on it and iron it why would it bend if you use let's say thicker thread or larger beads not 11 -0, but tenos it might start bending that is why it's a good trick to do and now i'm going to show you how to attach here your chain just take your chain and your jump ring open this one up go here through the five beads that you added and squeeze back now repeat it from the other side okay guys and now my twirl colorful necklace is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more tutorials like this it's a good idea to subscribe also hit the bell button if you still haven't and thank to all of you that like share and comment you don't know how much of a support this is for me Check description for useful resources like full list of materials, other similar tutorials, also link to my Facebook and Instagram pages where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. Also you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member of this channel. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.